I sell weed, dude. Everyone has a side hustle as a drug dealer. I'll give you a good deal on this shit, like, I'll hook you up if you want. <laughs> Hey, what's up everyone? Reactor here and welcome to my channel. Before I get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for a chance to win your choice of three different Amazon gift cards. If you win, you get to choose uh, one of the three gift cards, whichever one you want. So don't forget to do that. And I don't normally ask this, but if you can and you're new here, please subscribe. I'm trying to hit 50K subscribers by the end of the year. If I don't, it's fine, but it's just a goal of mine. So after watching that lynch mob of morality call for Logan Paul's death after that dead guy photobombed his vlog, I realized that the videos I've been making are no longer welcome on YouTube. This means I have to relearn what comedy is. Uh, and who better to teach me than one of the funniest channels on YouTube, H3H3. So I figured I would check out their content to try and figure out what makes it so funny. Let's see. King. No, I'm not, not saying, saying this, this little, little dude, dude is not Martin Luther, Luther King, King, but I'm, I'm not saying, saying that, that he's not. not. He memorized Logan Paul's lyrics? Wait, just because he memorized one line from Logan's song doesn't mean he memorized the lyrics. Unless... Like a gosh I'm not saying, saying this, this little, little dude, dude is not Martin, Martin Luther King, King but I'm not saying, saying that, that he's not. not. That this kid ain't or even Kanye! He stuck his neck out for me like a full Now know it's your turn, cause I did the first half. Everyone has a hero. True. Zero hero. Shouldn't have a hero. Logan is my hero. He is. <laughs> We've had this song stuck in our head. <laughs> Apparently, memorizing songs is comedy. I need to write that down. But he's using this kid as an actor. He's he's using him in an advertisement. And he's saying, okay, now at this point in the, move, the video, I'm going to hand you this maverick sweater and you're going to seem super happy. What's his cut on that, by the way? <laughs> does he have any back? Does he have any royalties on this commercial? Wait, what's his cut from this collaboration with Logan Paul? Uh, maybe it's 100,000 subscribers. So are we supposed to believe that Ethan doesn't understand the value of collaborations or that he thinks collaborations are exploiting people? Is that a joke? I don't think I like Ethan's joke so far. No, I'm not, not saying, saying that this little, little dude, dude is not Martin Luther, Luther King, King but, but I'm not, not saying, saying that he's not. not. Are you not <laughs> saying that he's not Martin Luther King? Because <laughs> that kid is not Martin Luther King. Empirically so. Wow, Ethan, you are laughing way too much at Logan's Martin Luther King joke. It's not that funny, but I think I get what he's doing now. He's repeating Logan Paul's joke, but he's pretending that it isn't a joke. And then explaining the joke as if he's really smart for figuring out how funny it is even though it's funny because it's an actual joke. That's genius. He's stealing Logan's joke right in front of us while convincing us that Logan isn't funny. But that would only work if my audience was too stupid to realize that Logan Paul doesn't actually think this kid is Martin Luther King. You know, like, if my audience was too stupid to realize that Logan was saying it as a joke, then they won't realize I'm just stealing his jokes. Well, it worked for Ethan. I think it could work for me. So I pretend someone isn't joking and then make fun of them for being serious about something they did or said as a joke. Whoa, that's genius. It's not funny, but you gotta be a genius to pull a con like that off on your audience, right? I think I get it. Let me try. Hey, what up peeps? It's your boy Ethan from H3H3. <sighs> Why is this idiot wearing socks with sandals? The sun finally came out. It's a beautiful, nice warm day here in New York City. How old is this guy? And I wanted to show you all at home what I'm about. This is what free-range parenting does to your children. His mom needs to stop letting him dress himself and start doing her goddamn job. A little peep into the world of EK from H3. Vape Nation! This is a grown man who can't dress himself. Like, does he actually think he looks good in that outfit? He couldn't look more like an idiot right now. Why would anyone take this guy seriously? He is so disconnected from reality. Okay, so now we know how to steal jokes while making it seem like we're making fun of someone who didn't intend for them to be jokes, even though they did. But what other things does Ethan do to trick people into thinking he's funny? We didn't make it to 200. Um, is this a joke? Because it's not really funny. It's just stupid. It is stupid funny? Wearing 200 shirts is something that would get you into the Guinness Book of World Records, but last I checked, the Guinness Book of World Records isn't a joke book. What else do we have? Okay, so now he's promoting drug use to his underage audience. I don't really think that's funny, but 
maybe he's doing it for street cred? Let's try and get some street cred here. Me and Ela were like a bike gang. Yeah, we, we, used to, <laughs> we used to deliver weed on our bikes. Yep, he's doing it for street cred. Wow, Ethan, you are so fucking cool for being a criminal. I thought you were just some joke stealing loser, but now I can't stop thinking about how cool you are for selling illegal drugs. Look at this. This is the penalty for illegal drug dealing back in 2009. It's a felony with two to four years in prison. Did you seriously just admit to a felony so that people would think you're cool? Are you seriously telling your underage audience that it's cool to sell illegal drugs? How is this even funny? If there was any justice in the world, you would be a convicted felon right now. But instead, you're a joke-stealing, drug-dealing loser with millions of young, impressionable fans. What else do we have? And one of the worst parts about it was that I was depressed, but I had everything that I had ever wanted. I had absolutely no reason objectively on paper to ever be depressed, and yet I was. What the fuck? You aren't depressed, you're spoiled. But what do I know? Maybe I'd be depressed too if all my jokes were stolen and I had to wear a million shirts to get people to like me. Oh, and one more thing. I actually asked our production manager the cost she estimated for Teddy Fresh that it would cost about $7 to make. And not, and not that that is, you're not allowed to upsell shit, but it's the fact that it's being sold to kids who have no sense of quality, who are basically being told to beg their parents to buy it for them. Seriously? You're saying he's taking advantage of children with his merch? Your merch logo is a child's stuffed animal. A fucking teddy bear. Are you really trying to convince me that adults are the ones buying that trash? I have yet to see a fully functioning adult wearing your merch. And look how uncomfortable they get when they realize they're talking about themselves. And Santa. I don't want people to be like... <laughs> like, let me acknowledge, yes, we also sell Teddy Fresh and it's not cheap. Let me just get that out of the way. And it, it amps up as we, as we go deeper down the hole of... Uh, it's, it's clearly a difference, you know. This between selling, I don't, I don't even need to, it, it's, it, you can't, it's not that you can't mark up shit, okay? It's, it's clearly a difference. Well, after thinking this all through, I don't think I can steal any of Ethan's jokes because I wasn't able to find any. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment on the video letting me know what you think and don't forget to subscribe because if you don't, I'll find you.